welcome to St. Peter's Basilica and what many rate as the most beautiful building ever made. For centuries, this basilica has been the center of the Catholic faith and is regarded as one of the holiest sites in the world. The basilica is truly massive. It remains one of the largest religious buildings in the world and has an impressive total capacity of over 60,000 people. Its central dome dominates the skyline of Rome, rising to a total height of 136.57 meters from the floor of the basilica to the top of the external cross. It is the tallest dome in the world. You can actually climb the dome and from there you can have the most spectacular view of Rome in general and of St. Peter's Square in particular. The square in front of the basilica was built between 1656 and 1667, designed by Bernini. Whoever arrives at the square feels immediately welcomed by a spiritual empress symbolized by the two symmetrical colonnades. At the center of the square is an impressive Egyptian obelisk flanked by two stunning fountains. In the middle of the facade of the building is the balcony, and this balcony is used for the announcement of the new Pope. Annuncio vobis gaudium magnum abemus papam. On Sundays at noon, the Pope usually appears at the second window from the right of the Apostolic Palace to pray the Angelus and bless the crowd in the square. If you are impressed by the beauty of the exterior of the Basilica, just wait until you enter inside. In the inside, you will discover the most amazing church you have ever seen. The building's interior really displays the beauty of the Catholic Church. This interior, which has up to 45 altars, was designed by many famous artists that ever lived. Some of the most important works include the Pietà of Michelangelo, the Papal Altar, the Jubilee Door, and the Throne of St. Peter, designed by Bernini. By Roman Catholic tradition, the Basilica is the burial site of its namesake, St. Peter, one of the twelve apostles of Jesus, and also, according to tradition, the first bishop of Rome, and therefore first in the line of papal succession. Tradition and some historical evidence hold that St. Peter's tomb is directly below the altar of the basilica. For this reason, many popes have been buried at St. Peter's Basilica since the early Christian period. Many Nigerian Catholic bishops and priests have been ordained in this basilica. Archbishop John Onaikon of Abuja was made cardinal in this basilica by Pope Benedict XVI in the consistory of 24th November 2012. On that day, many Nigerians stormed the Vatican. Other Nigerian bishops that have been ordained in this basilica in recent time are Archbishop Fortunatus Mwachuku, Apostolic Nuncio to Nicaragua, Archbishop Brian Udaigwe, Apostolic Nuncio to Benin Republic. As a work of architecture, St. Peter's Basilica is regarded as the greatest building of its age. It is one of the reasons why Rome is still the center of the civilized world. For religious, historical, and architectural reasons, it justifies a journey to Rome, and its interior offers artistic works at their best. <laughs> 